All right, y'all. So first things first. So what I'm making today is meatloaf, and I guess cabbage, mac and cheese, and probably some cornbread, most likely. All right. So and unlike many, I do not use breadcrumbs for my meatloaf. So that's why you just saw me crack the two eggs in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splash some um, black pepper in there, a dash, some black pepper. I got some large seasoning salt. I'm gonna do cayenne pepper. Cause I usually cook with this. I choose this over black pepper. It's healthier by the way. And what I got here is some organic ground turmeric. Now turmeric is good on most poultry. But, you know, not all. I don't put it on chicken for the most part or seafood. But I do use it for most of my beef. I'm going to dash a little bit of paprika. I'm also going to dash some garlic powder in here. Now see, the egg is what holds it together, guys. You do not need breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is not necessary. Use breadcrumbs if you shall. I've never used breadcrumbs to make my meatloaf because the egg is what holds it together. It's what, so, it's what serves the purpose. So think of your egg as the glue. That's gonna hold all of this good flavors together. All right, so I done blended all my seasons, y'all. I done got my um, meatloaf in my pan. I think I molded it into a loaf pretty good. So this is the shape of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this thing in the oven, okay? So at first I'm gonna cover it. Before I put it in the oven, I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil. Cause for the majority of the time, it is gonna bake in the oven. But I pretty much bake everything on 350. In case you're wondering, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. For my macaroni, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my evaporated milk in here. Add a pinch of black pepper, a little parsley on my noodles before I put them in. I got my butter melting. Right now I'm using triple cheddar cheese. That way we have a variety. As well as, I'm gonna dump some sharp cheddar in there also. Gonna give it a stir. Now remember, we want all this cheese to melt in here. We want our cheese sauce to be consistent. No stringy cheese. All right, so I'm waiting for all the cheese to melt for the mac. So while we doing that, I got my bacon. This is turkey bacon. And because I'm using turkey bacon, it don't really produce the same oils that the um, pork does. I did dash a little bit of cooking oil in the bottom of my pan. As you can see, I'm gonna dash some cayenne pepper on that bacon. I'm gonna hit it with some paprika. Cause when I started to mix in the cabbage, I want this bacon to already have the flavors. Cause who likes playing food? This is Saison Complete Seasoning. And anybody that's familiar with that, y'all know this just this just a combination. That's why it's called Complete Seasoning. Cause if you use this, you don't really need too much of anything else. And we like spices in this house. And I'm gonna come back and hit it with some onion powder. Now 
Look at it. Cabbage that I already cut up. Yes, I cleaned this with the steel vinegar. So I'm tossing that right on top of that seasoned bacon that I showed y'all. All right, so my cheese sauce ready. I got my elbow. Give it a little stir first. Look at that. That's really how it should look for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my cheese sauce, my creamy cheese sauce over my elbow noodles. I already got them in a the pan that I'm gonna put it in the oven with. Now I wanna get all that cheese out of there cause you don't wanna let that go to waste. And I did add Gouda cheese. I don't know if I showed y'all or not, but I had some smoked Gouda that I added in here also. I think it gives it a better flavor. And that's completely up to you. And another tip is you can, when you do, when you um, boil your macaroni noodles, I often use chicken broth. I boil my macaroni noodles in chicken broth. It gives my macaroni a better flavor. You can try that and thank me later. I just got that good creamy sauce. I'm just giving it a little stir. Make sure all the sauce is blended in well with my elbow noodles. Okay. So to top it off, I'm going to put my triple cheddar on top. Spread this across. And then on top of that, I'm going to go with the sharp cheddar. So collectively, y'all, I probably got like a total of five different cheeses combined. With the blend, the sharp cheddar, and the gouda. Yeah, that's a total of five cheeses because the triple cheddar had three different cheeses in it. And um, so, and that's that for presentation with some parsley. And I'm gonna hit it again with a little paprika because presentation is key. What are you doing here? I'm putting oil on the pans. Putting oil on the pan. Yeah. So it won't stick. So it won't stick. So I'm making some Jiffy cornbread. My daughter is. And now, all that good flavor and seasoning. I'm going to cover it back up. And let it cook on low. But yeah, that's the cabbage coming along. All right, shout out to my girl Remedy for mixing this cornbread for her mama. I'm going to help my girl out. I drizzled some raw honey first. I got my softened butter. And I'm just going to do like so. So I use a six ounce can of tomato paste. Okay, I put that in there first in my bowl. And again, that's tomato ketchup. And I got some raw cane sugar. I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a, a little pinch of this raw cane sugar. About that much. Just to balance out. The flavor, cause the paste does see it does tend to be a little tangy, so not making sweet meatloaf or none of that. But again, the purpose of a pinch of sugar is because of how tangy 
the tomato paste is. And I'm just going to mix all three of those ingredients, as you can see. And I'm going to take that. So as you can see, I got my meatloaf out of the oven. I'm covering it. And we're going to evenly spread that all the way across as such. I like to use a spoon so I can smooth it out as needed. So before you put your old meatloaf in the oven uncovered, it should look a little something like this once you've evenly spread it, the paste on top. We didn't pour all of the oil off. We left a little bit on because we don't want no dry meatloaf. And we're going to put this back in the oven uncovered. So as you can see, I got my baked macaroni and cheese, my cabbage, meatloaf, and honey butter cornbread. No pork in my kitchen. Like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Bye.